Hey guys, this is Sam from developerscreed.com and today I'm going to talk to you about how to change the database name, database username and database password for your WordPress. Okay, this is an installation of WordPress that I'm going to be using for this demonstration. As you see it's functioning, so I'm going to go to cPanel and then I'm going to go to File Manager. Open it up. And I'm going to look for wp-config. And this time, I'm going to go Edit. Um, edit it. Okay. So the database name that I need to change is this one. How am I going to change it? For that part, we're going back to cPanel again. This time I'm going to go to phpMyAdmin. The database name was WRDP3. Okay. WRDP3. Then I want you to go to operations. And here you can rename it. So I'm going to call this one WordMonkey. WordMonkey. Okay. And go. Do you really want to and drop this one? Yes. Okay, done. Now we're gonna come back to cPanel again and I'm gonna go to my SQL databases and I'm gonna go next just looking for the database that I just created, WordMonkey. This is a name that I need to put in. So I'm going to do Control C, come back to here and Control V it. Okay. Then I'm going to go back to databases again. As you see, it doesn't have anything in front of it. So let's see what was the username. Oh, sorry. It was Z. This is the one that I needed to change. That's a DB name. This is DB user. Okay, RDP3. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to go down. RDP3. Okay, and I'm going to just delete this one because we won't be needing it. Go back. Okay, now. I'm going to create a username and I'm going to call this one wording one two hmm. one would do word one two four just make it as random as possible and this is the username going to go generate a couple times and then use it. Create the user. No, thank you. Okay. Now, what you have to do is just put this information back in here. So, that one goes here. Control V. Going back here again. Control C it. Control V. Your database is going to still be in localhost or if you are using something like GoDaddy in the same place as they said it before. And anything else? No, that's it. They're all done. Okay. Then I'm going to go save changes. 
now I'm going to go back to my here that's word one two three four so what I'm going to do is come here and it was word monkey user sorry user word one two three four and database word monkey there you go I'm gonna go add and this I'm gonna go all privileges and go make changes okay and if I find the database again should show you the username and pass yeah that's the username we're good to go so let's have a look at it here as well just to make sure yep and if I refresh this page it should come up without any glitch. Welcome to WordPress. This is my post. Yes. Activity, members, and group. Okay. Now, one small detail that I left out here, because I assume that you watch the other videos in my channel. You need to first back up your database. Don't ever do anything to a database without backing it up first. Once you lose that data, you lost it. There's no way to get it back. So first, back up everything. If you don't know how, there is a video in my channel. Just have a look at it. I hope this helps and good luck with everything.